So if you're familiar with Think Fun games, you know they come in this gray bag. So let's open it up and see which game is hidden inside this bag. I just want to point out, drawstring, really easy to carry, play dates, trips. It's right in here. I love this feature of most of these Think Fun games. So inside we have a deck of cards for... Hmm. There's the game. Ooh, Brick Logic. And yes, Brick Logic is a great logic game. So as you could see, um, the deck is attached to this ring, so there is no kids throwing the cards around, missing cards, out of order. It's perfectly here for you. Pick a challenge and go. This game comes with, let's check it out, let's check it out, 60 challenges, all ranging from easy to hard. And you have the challenge, you check it out in the back. So let's see what we've got. Okay. We have the challenges, put those aside, and here we have the bricks. Yes, all of the bricks. So let's see how to play the game. So it, Brick Logic is easy, yet super challenging. You start off with a challenge, and the goal is, through trial and error, to kind of observe the different shapes and figure out a way to make all of the pieces kind of um, work together to solve your challenge. And um, as you could see over here, I am going with the idea, <coughs> excuse me, that, ooh, that, ooh, that looks, that will not work. <laughs> so what I'm basically trying to do is, one second, see how they just fit nicely together? Um, well, my first strategy didn't work, and neither did that one. So, in essence, what I'm trying to do is putting them together in ways that I think make sense. <coughs> Excuse me. But as you could see, that every time I put the bricks together, it cut, you know, even though it does appear that, let's say, this one should be the top because it's the same shape, it really isn't. You know, you really, really have to use some thinking skills and uh -huh, trial and error to try to figure out the game. So there we have it. You know, what I did was, in essence, a strategy, what I did was I visualized what I had here, and I just kept putting different pieces together until I found part of it, and then eventually I reached, you know, the end result. But I just want to point out how hard this game really is. Once they're together, look how the bricks look. They all look the same. You know, like I mentioned, this one made sense to go on top because it is the same pattern, but it wasn't on top. So when you play this game, you really have, really have to sit, focus, and try, try, and try again. This is not a beginner game. This is a more advanced game. So I would definitely recommend it for teens. It's a great game for downtime. It's a great game for logic. And, you know, a lot of these logic games for kids, it's beginner math skills, but... You can always take math to a new level, and this game will really help train and challenge the brain in a whole new way. Um, I, just, I also like to go in order, so I'm definitely going to do this one next. Um, this is by far one of the most challenging games I've ever tried from Think Fun, and that is great. So I would definitely hands down recommend this. If you want to see this game and more games like this, well then, totally subscribe to my channel, like this video, let me know what you think about this video or future videos you want to see, if there's a specific toy or skill you want me to recommend. I'm all here for play, as you could see. I'm all here for hands-on education. And I'm most definitely all here for your kids. So, you know, if you like this video, let me know what you think, and we'll be back for more. Um... Happy playing. <laughs> and I'm going to go sit and figure this one out right now. Have a good day.